my name is Linkarina Hutchinson. I'm a dancer and I represented Team GB at the London 2012 Olympic Games in rhythmic gymnastics. I was around 13, so I was just coming up to, I started representing GB. Like things were looking good for my future in gymnastics. My coach thought I was slouching or I had kind of a funny posture mentioned it to me, took some photos, and then we ended up seeing a specialist. And after being checked over and lots of things, x-ray scans, I had a scoliosis. It wasn't severe, like some people get it really young when they're kids and then you have to operate. In my mind, nothing was going to stop me from doing rhythmic gymnastics. Then the Olympic Games were coming up, London 2012, so less than a year, I think it was before, I went for one of my checkups and the surgeon was suddenly like, Oh, it's got a lot worse, you need to have surgery. Very like cold and just like that. I was so blank, I just remember being there like, just nodding and like trying not to cry, obviously. Um, but then when I went back to my teammates and I told them like, all right, guys, I'm not joining you on this journey anymore. Like I have to have the surgery straight away. Anyway, we calmed down a bit and we got a second opinion and I'm still going surgery free at the moment. Once I started to share about having scoliosis, a lot of younger gymnasts and dancers did say to me like, oh, I have it too. Like it was, I was really worried about it. I'm worried I can't do gymnastics anymore. I'm worried I can't continue. So I think it is important to share that Obviously, you need to be monitored by a health professional, but try to continue doing what you want to do. After I got the diagnosis, I did go on to get a second opinion and then went on to go to two Commonwealth Games and represent Team GB at the Olympic Games. It's been more than 10 years since that doctor told me that I needed surgery that would end my gymnastics career. I'm still dancing today, I do it for work and I really love it. I'm doing Pilates every day as well to keep healthy. So yeah, keep doing what you want to do. As long as it's safe and you have medical provision. <laughs> Cut that.